Welcome to the Spinning Planet video tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Round Cube Webmail. The first thing you need to do is go to your website www.yourwebsitename.co.nz and at the end type in forward slash webmail. Then you'll need to put in your username and your password, click login. And you should see a page that looks like this. Don't worry if you can't see this preview pane down below, I'll show you how to set that up. So we can see some messages that have come in here. If I click on it, I can see it. If I double click it, it'll take up the whole window. Um, I'll just click the back arrow here to go back to my message list. Um, now I'm going to show you these buttons up here and what they do. If I want to instantly check my messages, I'll just click on that and it'll, it does it very quickly. It'll check the web server and see if you've got any new messages. If I want to write a new message, I just click on that little write icon and then, then I can send it to, let's say, support at spinningplanet.co.nz um, and I'll give it a subject of test. Now if I wanted to also copy the message to somebody else what I'd do is I'd go also add a carbon copy that's what CC means. So I'll send this to my other email address brinjs at orcon.net.nz um, You can also do a thing called send a blind carbon copy so that means that if, I, if the person that gets this um, will also receive a copy of the email but the person you sent it to won't see that it was sent to them. They'll see that it was carbon copied to Brin.js but they won't see that it was blind carbon copied to somebody else. So then we can go, hi Brin, just like you normally would in an email and go type a message. Um, of course you may want to be a bit fancy and make words bold so you can just click and select them like that and then up here you can click bold and italic and you can center text and you can change the font style to like something bold like that you can change the size um, you can even make a link so an example is if I double click on that or if I just select that whole thing and I click link I could then link it to a website I'll just do that, I'll show you. If I go here and I want to link to this page, I just select that and then I copy it. Go back over here and I click on that insert edit link icon again. And we go paste. And I want it to open in a new window so it doesn't replace this one. And now that's a hyperlink. Um, if we want to attach some images, just click on the little plus icon over here. Choose your file. Um, I'll do this sends logo here, open, and then click upload. And that's already uploaded, that was really quick. If you want to delete it, you can just click that little delete icon. Now I want to send this message, so I scroll down to the bottom of the page and I click send now. And that's just been sent. So that's how you write a new message. We can see over here, I can mark messages whether they're important or not so if I click on that I'll just say that it's um, it hasn't been read yet and see how it's just gone bold now I may want to reply to Sport Manawatu so all I need to do is just click on that reply to sender button and so that shows their previous message and you can see my cursor's flashing in there if I press it a couple of times I just go back there and I type my message blah 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 and then I go click send now um, I don't want to do that because they'll just receive this garbled message so I'm just going to click back to message list it's asking me if I want to discard the message, yes I do okay you'll see the next icon, if we hover over the icons it says what it does I want to reply to all um, recipients so that's to the sender and anybody else that they've sent it to as well um, that works exactly the same way, just click on it, and it's thinking about it, oh I've got to select the message, I hadn't selected a message, um, then reply to all, and if there were other recipients they'd show up in there too, let's go back to the list, um, I may want to forward the message, so I click on that, and then I hover over here, it says forward the message, and I just forward it, works exactly the same way as reply, you put in an extra stuff in there, and then click send, Let's go back to the list, discard that message. Um, now we want to delete that message. Very simple, click on it and then click delete. If I want to delete multiple messages, I hold down the control key on my keyboard and then I le left click on the ones I want to delete. So there, and I've still got my finger on the control key, the CTRL key, and I click on the next one and I want that one gone too. And then I can just go up here and I can say move it all over into my trash. 
So that's the basic usage of how you use the front end. Um, now I'm going to show you some cool stuff in the back end that you can configure. You'll notice on the left hand side I've got the default folders like draft, sent, junk, trash. I've also created some custom folders such as test folder. So let's go into personal settings. You don't need to change much in here, um, but an example is if you're not seeing the preview pane, you just tick that button there. Um, most of this, in fact nearly all of it, you don't need to change at all. Um, let's go to folders. I want to create a new folder, so I'll call it test folder 2, and then I click create. So now if I go back to my email, I can see I've got a new test folder. I want this message over in my test folder, so I just click and drag it over into test folder 2 and now when I click on test folder 2 I can see that message in there. Let's go back into personal settings. Uh, good that's still ticked my, pre ticked my preview pane. Go to folders. Um, let's say I don't want those folders anymore I'll just go delete and delete. Uh, you'll also see I've got a templates folder that I'm hiding so if it's unticked then it won't show in the left menu. Now let's have a look at identities. So you can see I've got my default identity here, which is our test account, test newsletter. So every time I send an email message, it's going to say it's from test newsletter. I've also created this other one, which is my Orcon account. So if I go back to email, and I go write email, I can choose which account I want to send it from. Now be careful with this. If I go back, <coughs> I'll show you your identity. Um, to reduce spam, uh, companies like Extra and Google um, are saying that if you send email, it has to come from their servers. So it's best that this only come from your website name.co.nz. An example of that is you might want to send from your personal email address or sales at your website name.co.nz. That's where this works well. Um, however, if you want to send from another identity, um, you've got to be you've got to make sure that it's actually somebody that allows that. As an example, if you did if you sent from extra in here, make sure that the recipients have got your message because it may be mistakenly identified as spam. If you want to create a new identity all you need to do is click on new identity and just create it in here and save so that's how uh, the basic use oh one more thing I'll just show you the address book to show you how that works quickly um, you can see I've got myself in here if I create a new one and I'll just call it Bryn JS and same um, actually I'll just call it Orcon and then I'll put in my Orcon email address and click save. Oops, not cancel, <laughs> save. Now I write my new message. I actually just go back to the beginning again. Now I write the message. So we'll see it's from Bryn at Test Newsletter. If I t start typing Orcon, it automatically comes up. And my other address book person is Bryn. Start typing that and it comes up. So that just makes it a lot quicker to add recipients. Um, you see that you can add multiple recipients just by putting in a comma. So that's how you use the Roundcube webmail system.